Hi everyone, this is Marianne and welcome to my channel, The Unplanned Life. I just wanted to quickly come on here to share with you that I found another very good dust-free eraser. In a previous video, I talked about this Faber-Castell dust-free eraser and I gave it a heap of praises. I will link the video in the description box, but after some time, I came across this Mongol dust-free eraser and I have to say it performs just as well as the Faber-Castell dust-free eraser and I really like both of them equally. And it seems to be more readily available in the national bookstore in my area, while the Faber-Castell is not readily available. So just in case you're looking for the Faber-Castell and can't find it, go for the Mongol instead. I swear they perform exactly the same way. And I couldn't find the same size of the Mongol as the Faber-Castell. The Faber-Castell obviously is the bigger one and the Mongol that I found is smaller, but there won't be very much difference in price either. And if there is a difference in price, it will probably be just be a matter of a couple of pesos. And I also have this Tombow Mono Zero eraser pen in the rectangular version, which I have unboxed and reviewed in a previous video, which will also be linked in the description box. I picked I picked this eraser because I write very tiny and I want to be able to erase those tiny writing without erasing the parts that I did not want to erase. So I went for the rectangle because it has corners in it. But the problem with this eraser is that it does not erase cleanly. You can watch my review if you want, which is linked below as I mentioned, but I really liked the body of the eraser. I like that it's white and I really want the rectangular shape because I need the corners. And I also want to be able to clip this eraser pen into the pen loop of my catch-all notebook so it can be more handy and I won't lose it. So what I did stay with me here uh, what I did is I decided to try cutting down a block of the dust free eraser and fit it into the barrel of the Tombow and I won't go into much detail except to say that it was an epic fail <laughs> However, I did not lose the eraser. I decided that I can just cut down the block into small rectangular pieces so I can have a fresh corner all the time. Of course, I won't be able to bring this around with me. It will be very inconvenient and cumbersome and I can lose them, the bits and pieces, but I can just keep this in a small pot on my desk where I am most of the day and have them readily available in all moments that I need them and I need them often. And so that is what the failed experiment had amounted to. Small bits of dust free eraser with a whole lot of corners for the much more precise erasing of tiny handwriting. This can be a solution for you if you're looking for a super clean eraser and the Tombow does not erase cleanly for you. I will still hold on to the Tombow for now. I'm sure I'll figure out what to do with it in time. And that is my super short video for you today. Just a short one as I get back on my feet after more than a week of being sick. And I hope to see you again soon in my next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.